some people in this hall say, ah, I got it. It's about dead people, of course. <laughs> but in this point, the director or the writer showed what is the movie about. It's about dead people. The boy can see dead people. After 60 minutes, the climax, highest or more, most intense point in the story. Generally, like in this point, like I told you, the heart beats faster. Until this point, you know every character in the movie. Falling tricky action. It's like a false ending. Rarely, everything comes down. And many people think, OK, the movie's over. There is a little action that you remember the dead, dead rise up that become like in a second climax. Not that high, it's a second climax. Like you scream when Sydney killed the assassin and you think, okay, this guy is not the ghost face, I got it! <laughs> and ten minutes later, the guy is alive. Ah, oh, you're alive! <coughs> and they took the gun and start to kill the rest. That is like the fall sense. I call it falling tricky action. Six sense, you think everything is over when the boy held the, the little girl and showed to her father that she was killed by his mother-in-law because that fucking poisoned her. So you see? The boy is safe. There is no, nothing more to show. The boy is safe. Happy ending. Happy never after. But <coughs> after the polytrophy action, is the closing. And there are two resolution and revelation. And Naisha Malan showed this closing resolution with the polytrophy action. The boy is safe. Now he, he thought with dead people, He's not afraid anymore. But the good, what I really like of this movie, that in this point, after 86 minutes of movie, you think everything is over. I, you, everybody, think that the story was about the boy. And everybody was running. It's about Bruce Willis. But you don't know, you don't, don't realize that after 19 minutes, of movie. That is the last part, closing, when Bruce Willis realized that he's dead. And the director showed you some scene inside the movie that can prove that he was really dead. Got it? So really good movies. Cycle. Alfred Hitchcock. He used to use the six inflection points. He was a master with the camera. This guy, with the special effect of Steven Spielberg today, would be the most genius people in the world. For them, what's the name of the guy of, uh, who died recently? Steve Jobs. <laughs> The Exorcist, the best horror movie ever, 1973, and I still drink off with the year. Halloween, Chris Carpenter. What I don't like of this movie that the Michael Myers never died, <laughs> because you're the victim and you slap him, and he fall down and you say, "Hey, I killed him." And the guy three minutes later is trying to kill you again. In horror movie, is you are going to kill someone, kill him. Not one shot, like 20, like Robocop, 65 shot. If you want to stop someone, 
made like 10, 12, 15 stab. Cut off his head. If you don't do it, it's just stupid. The guy never died. It's like the immortal series, Alien. It's more than a thriller, but after Alien, the aliens became famous in, in horror movies. The Shining. This is a movie for, very good movie from Stanley Kubrick. Adapted by a book of uh, Stephen King. Stanley Kubrick is for most of the director, uh, actually director, the biggest director in the history of cinema. Stanley Kubrick. And the performance of Jack Nicholson is really, really creepy. I will show you one scene. Like, a scream. I really like a scream because it's like this line of six inflection points and everybody is suspect of the, the ghost face. You cannot roll out someone, anybody. One guy can be killed and you cannot say, okay, he's not the assassin. No, he can't. He could. The sixth sense, of course. The Ring. It's an adaptation from a movie of Japan, Japan, I think. And they make the American version. So, there's seven movies. Very creepy, very blood. This guy really likes blood, like me. And they use a lot, a lot in the movie. The Mist. It's a Stephen King book, book. A masterpiece. One of the most shocking movie endings ever. I will show you the end after. Like I told you, it's not a really good movie, but the end is excellent. So make the entire movie a good movie. Movie, movie, movie. Paranormal Activity broke all the rules of horror movie. The guy, Orin Pelly, the director, the writer, I'm going to make a horror movie on my own way. I don't care. What do you think? This is impossible. I analyze the format of or the format of this movie. It's impossible. But I really like the uh, first, the second, and the third part. So I'm gonna show you. I'm not laughing. If you don't like, get the fuck out of here. What's happening? What happened? You're talking about this position, so. What is happening? Go no fuck yourself, man. Man, it's not your school. Go outside. It's not your school. What are you talking about? You want to call Emily? What? Do whatever you want. You want to call Emily? Leave. Leave her out there. You're a pussy, man. Okay, sorry. It's funny, it's good ending. Horror movie. Some bad and good cliches. You know what is a cliche? One thing that everybody likes to do. Seasons. Like three more director have made again this movie. This show was a master of the, in, in the camera. Details. Close up. Those people are so ungrateful. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. about the horror movie. 